When the Minnesota Fighting Vikings allegedly lost Sunday afternoon 31-24 to against the New York Football Giants, everyone is going to blame Kirk Cousins for the fourth down check down, but it's the defense. It was the defense that allowed Daniel Jones and Saquon and a bunch of no-name receivers just completely tear things up. Like on the road, U.S. Bank Stadium, the receivers, they weren't touched, then it, it, they just bled yards, 431, and it was just absolutely ridiculous. And someone's got to pay the price Man, and defense coordinator Ed Donatel needs to finally go. And we've been saying this for a while. The Vikings defense loaded with stars at every single level. Yes, a little bit aged veterans, but we'll, we'll get into it. But, I mean, all season long, even the most recreational fan could see that this defense wasn't right. I mean, the defense, yeah, was opportunistic at times. It could get a turnover to end a game, even though they give up 400 yards and uh, you know 30 plus points, or they could get a, a little bit of pressure in the beginning of the season when Zadarius Smith was actually right. So, I mean, we saw it. I mean, we've been saying all season long that Ed Donatel needs to be replaced, or at minimum, he needs to be more aggressive, and it just didn't happen. And you know, this week before the game, the much maligned defensive unit, all the media was uh, asking Ed Dantel's like, "Oh, what's going to go on?" Then Ed Dantel's like, "I think you're going to like the way we play this week." Nope, nope. Four thirty-one, thirty-one points to Daniel Jones and the Giants, and you lose. You're one and done in the playoffs. So absolutely ridiculous. But you know, we said a bunch. Like, hell, we were caught, we were banging the drum to fire Donatel or replace him with Mike Pettin, who's your assistant head coach, who has ten years of defensive coordinator or and head coach experience, as uh, someone who would actually be aggressive with these pieces. Like, hey, I'm fine if you give up yards and points, whatever, but generate sacks, uh, have a chance to generate a turnover. Don't just sit back and let life happen to you, right? And of course, uh, just trying to uh, jam all these players into the three-four scheme. It's just so stupid. Like, we we're calling for Dontel to be fired the bye week. That made a lot of sense. Or after the Patriots game, the mini bye week. Or after the Lions debacle heading into the Colts game. It's just ridiculously stupid uh, the way that, uh, you know, this season operated, man. It, it's just really frustrating. And Donatel's defense this season was abysmal and inexcusable. And and also, like, like going back to uh, Donatel saying, it's like, oh, uh, Daniel Hunter's just getting used to the scheme. Uh, Daniel Hunter and his agent need to sue the team. No, legitimately. Like, every single down that Daniel dropped in coverage is money out of his pocket, and it's ridiculous. It's like having a Ferrari tow a boat. It's so stupid. But Donatel's defensive season, 10 out of 18 games, 400-plus yards allowed. That's not good. 11 of 18 games this season, 24-plus points allowed. 427 points allowed total, 28th in the league. Uh, they were 31st in total uh, defense, six, uh, so, uh, a lot of yards given up. Nailed it. 6.9 net passing yards per attempt, which is not nice. They were 30th in the league, which means every single time that the opposing quarterback dropped back to pass, they were getting seven yards. Think about that. It's just so stupid. Average drive, 34.4 yards, 28th in the league, red zone percentage. They were dead last. For a while, but uh, and remember, uh, this is when he was talking about, oh, like, oh, it's a bend but don't break defense. But then it crawled back up to 57.1 percent, and they're 27th in overall defensive DVOA. Now, is all this on Donatel? I mean, a big part of it is, but <sighs> awkwardly, do you have to look at the talent uh, on the defense, where players are getting older, players are learning a new scheme, some players are playing out of position. I, I, I don't know, but you could say. Very plausibly, that Kendricks lost a step. Harrison's lost a step. Patrick Peterson lost a step, even though he had five uh, interceptions this year. Hell, Harrison had five interceptions, as well as yeah, Donatel not using Harrison down in the box. Like you know, frankly, you know, Zimmer. One of the good things that he did, he let Harrison Smith be Harrison Smith. Uh, Donatel didn't do that, but it's just, it's just so frustrating. And the worst part about it is fans knew. Like fans knew that this passive defensive scheme was not going to fly when the games actually mattered. And you know what? You could say that the Vikings didn't have the personnel to do it. Don't care. R really do not care. Guess what? Just play press man and blitz the living crap out of people. Because, hey, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But uh, frankly, it's like how Wink Martindale and the Giants defense did it. Well, except for the wild card game where they played a lot of zone. But it really sucks because... I think what happened here is Kevin O'Connell, he's been preaching this culture uh, of team and family and nice, nice and all this stuff. And I think at the end of the day, he 
was just too passive when it came to enforcing what was best for the team and either making Donatel ramp up the aggression on defense or firing him. I think that's what it was. And Kevin O'Connell ultimately cost this team a playoff game because the defense cost this team a playoff game. I don't care that Kevin O'Connell is the offensive coach and blah, blah, blah. Guess what? He's the head coach of the entire team. It's a reverse Zimmer. You know, Zimmer never had the time of day for the offense. But if this is on Kevin O'Connell for not having the fortitude to see, hey, this defense is horrible. This defense is going to cost us games. This defense is XYZ. And what's the common denominator? Get someone in there who is going to call a more aggressive game. Like I said, Petten is your assistant head coach, and he could have stepped in at any point. At any point, he could have stepped in with the existing play sheet, but ramping up the aggression after the bye week, after the Patriots game, after the Lions game. But you didn't do it, and it ultimately cost you a playoff game, and that's your fault. It is. The offense was good enough to win that game on Sunday, but the defense let them down. Put them in too big of a hole to come back, and it is what it is. But I I, I don't know what you do this offseason necessarily because I, I do think that there is going to be a lot of roster change on the defensive side of the ball. Do you do you tool up? Do you actually build for the 3-4 defense? And if you do that, who's going to be your defense coordinator? Is it going to be Patton stepping in? Are you going to go get Raheem Morris? Are you going to go get Brandon Staley after the Chargers fire him? Uh, he does have a connection with Kevin O'Connell going back to the Rams as well, but it can't be him. I don't care if uh, you still want to make this one big happy family, promote him to senior defensive uh, consultant, whatever. But he cannot be calling the defensive plays next season. Otherwise, it will just be history repeating it again. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Everyone saw this coming. Anyways, let us know your thoughts on our thoughts. Fire at Donatel. Should have done it midseason. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most put the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time. Skull production value.